Hello and welcome to Chennai for match three in the LG One Day series between India and England. The news from the centre is Nasir Hussain has won the toss finally and has decided to bat first on a very good pitch. Well, the teams for today's game, just one change in the Indian outfit. No Saurav Ganguly at the top. Virendra Sevak will open the batting with Tendulkar. Sanjay Bangar comes into the side instead of Ganguly and David, a new captain, and it couldn't have come to a more dedicated frigator than Anil Kumble. Well, that's right, yes. It's, as you said, it's a great honour. Um, the problem is, of course, you've got no time to think about the honour. You have to get on and try and win this game. And I think looking at that order there, Virenda Segway, you know, is a very fine stroke maker. It'll be an interesting opening partnership with two, two men who, it seems, like to compete when they're at the crease together. So if it goes well for India, it could be explosive. They're going to have to bat well chasing. Uh, England, of course, what interests me here is they've stuck with it. Uh, Michael Vaughan, for instance, is still there, played well in Cuttack, uh, but that means that someone like Graham Thorpe, who you'd automatically assume normally would be in a team like this, is still sitting on the benches. Likewise, you look down the bottom of that order, Matthew Hoggard, Darren Goff, they're the men in possession of the new ball. Andrew Caddick, who likes to think he should have it, he's also on the bench. So that's, that's what I mean about the spirit and the confidence. They're sticking with the men who won in Cuttack. A big moment for him. Deserves his chance, and who knows? Well, that'll lead to Marcus Toscothic. Received the first ball. Nick Knight is partner. England will be looking for these two to get them off to a start. It does look a very good wicket. Shavagal Srinath, the man that's going to start proceedings. Just a couple of minutes to tick over. It's magnificent. That's uh, got to be very close to a wide. It is a wide. So England's innings is up and running. Well, that's going to be the first boundary. No need to run for that. First time a bit of width. Pays the price. And it's just showed how good this track is. It was hit on the up. And he didn't try and hit it too hard. This is a fine shot. It's a shot of a player in good form at the moment. Magnificent 100 in the first game in Calcutta. Good balance when he plays it, leaning into the shot, the weight forward. Well, it's lofted and safely over the infield. That'll go to the second boundary. Well, just got it prepared to take a chance early on. Not quite out the middle of the bat, just checking the bat. Didn't sound quite right, but it went well enough. Yes, again, just hitting it uh, through the line. That was over pitched on leg stump. And no half measures employed here by Marcus Treskotic. Always looking to hit straight. That was well played. Well, it could be expensive because that's no ball and drifted down the leg side. That's the problem. If you bring this field and change it, I'm not, sure not uh, happy with the call. Well, I've not quite worked out how bowlers can not be happy with the call. You should be looking at the other end, shouldn't you? Absolutely. And he'll be disappointed because uh, that's just the line he cannot afford to bowl. He's got fine leg up in the circle. Once again, the correct call by the umpire. That's uh, clearly a no ball. And that's worked away nicely on the onside. That's going to be four. Don't bother running for that. Attempted slower ball, I think, outside the off stump. But Wrong length, wrong line. Yes, the width once again. Allowing him to get it uh, wide of the man at uh, mid-off. was the slower delivery attempted by Agarkar. Yeah, well, it was quite near him, but at about 120 miles an hour. <laughs> That's race to the boundary at the rate of knots. That was spanked through the offside. Not a man moved. Again, hit on the up. It was a man at short point. I'll tell you what, he was just a spectator. Nice shot, he says. I'm very pleased it was wide of him. It's one of those you don't want at you. That has gone to a rate of knots. He's creamed it. <laughs> well, it's gone high in the air and taken. Slow ball, I think, and not picked. Knight coming down the wicket, trying to hoist it away. All well, he does is sky it. There was no real need for that. Already, six runs off the over. 
but it's the way he plays, it's cost him his wicket. There's absolutely no need for the way Tres Cotter was going to drag it away from outside the off stump. Change in pace from Srinath and uh, well taken by Munge. So that'll please him. India have got the breakthrough and uh, England 42 for one. That's for Sane, England captain. He won't be facing, that's from Crossed. So the non striker's end. Still two balls left in the over. So Sane, of course, born here in Chennai. Seven from the over and a wicket. It's 43 for one. He's gone for it again in the air and safely out of everybody's reach. It's another boundary for Triscothic. He's looking in ominous form today. Yeah, from around the wickets, if the angle isn't absolutely right, there is space to hit. And to add to that, of course, Triscothic has given himself just that little bit of room. And gone with the flow over the offside. That was maybe, as uh, Ravi Shastri said, what Nick Knight might have been able to do. Although one difference, I think, was that for the Nick Knight delivery. He's edged it. Or has he gloved it? Yes. The umpire raises the finger. And for the second time in succession, Marcus Trescothic has been dismissed by Ajit Agarkar bouncer. That's good cricket again from the young man. Well, he must be the man that India wants to get, based on that innings in Kolkata in the first one. That's come off the glove. And again, it's a combination of the bounce and the pace. The bounce is there, the ball hasn't quite come through. And he couldn't get on top of it. That was his problem. So Scott then gone for 36. Two down for 53. Michael Warren will keep strike. 54 for two. Lindsay is the match referee will be keeping a close eye on everything and then uh, he'll look at the calculator at the end it's a great shot saw the width and just went with the flow yeah, that was a lot better than those early attempts in the previous over against Arga Cup really to bowlers on both teams a little bit of width like this batsman can hit on the up and we have a bowling change from the Royal Sundaram stand end it's going to be Sanjay Bangar now this is something that Nasser Hussain will find it will haunt him forever wasn't short enough and in the end it's a terrible shot Well, England, it seems, are doing their best to throw away the early advantage. You can see what he was trying to do. It's come out all wrong as far as the England captain is concerned. Uh, three down for 61 is not where they wanted to be. Paul Collingwood is the number five batsman for England. Man of the match from the last game. Sort of a change bowler that comes in to action. Got out to Saurav Ganguly while trying to go over the top in the last match at Katak and he was caught by Agarkar at long on today it's been at mid on when he looked to go after Sanjay Bangar that's gone through four signal scorebook shot just goes into the scorebook as four don't really need to know where it's gone he's a lucky there That's beautifully bowled. A little bit of drift, the outside edge taken. 
England have lost their fourth wicket and Harbhajan has struck for the first time. Well, what terrific captaincy. He's new to the game, Cumbly, but he's kept an attacking field. It's a lovely ball, this. Look at this delivery wide of the crease. It's the one that goes the other way. Takes the outside edge of Michael Vaughan. Excellent captaincy. He's kept a slip in there. Strike for Harbhajan. 90 for four, England. Nicely played, that should beat the fielder, it does, it's four. That brings up the 100 for England. After 19.3 overs. He's a strong lad, Flintoff. Runs our due of him. He's been on this tour as an all-rounder, came here to play test matches as well, never scored any runs there. This is the time when England need to score runs. Four wickets down. He can really make use of the opportunity. That's very well played. Played it with loose hands towards point for a single. It's in the air. Chip back. And that is a soft dismissal under the circumstances. And Flintoff's tour of woe with the bat continues. Well, that's superb captaincy from Anil Kumle. He's been putting the pressure on the new batsmen that have come in. As soon as Flintoff comes into bat, he got a silly point on. Wanted to hit it hard again, Flintoff. Blue in position to play that stroke, and he's gone. Thank you very much, says Anil Kumle. So that's the fifth wicket down for England for 104. Andrew Flintoff, gone for eight. Nicely played. Onto the bat, a couple here. And sure enough, and to do the chase. Not what a quick bowler wants. Don't want to lose any more wickets at this moment. What a lovely stroke that was. What a lovely timer of the ball, Vaughan is. He's shown us that all throughout the test series. The mid off was up, played it beautifully between the gap between the bowler and mid off. Bowler not happy. I don't think if the fielder had been on the edge of the circle and made any difference, it was hit uh, well wide of him. It's in the air, and it's out. Sachin Dendolka takes the catch. A big wicket. Warren goes for the cut. Little top edge, extra bounce. Makes good ground, Sachin Tendulkar takes the catch and that's a big wicket. Michael Vaughan's gone for 43, it's 125 for six. Jeremy Snape, batsman. Ah! Nearly, nearly the seventh wicket for India. The wheels are just coming off for England. Jeremy Snape would have been a first ball duck for him. Just falling short of Virendra Sehwag at forward short lick. There you see wickets are falling in a rush for England. And in the background you can see a change taking place. Bowling change, Sachin Tendulkar has been introduced. And with two right-handers out there in the middle, there's a good chance he'll be bowling his leg spin. And the pitch is, I think, suited for that kind of bowling. There is a bit of turn and more importantly the bounce. And it's an interesting field that he's got for himself. Put the pressure on the fielder, Harbhajan Singh. That's what pressure does. Puts the legs some slightly. He's gone over the top. That's the talent we were talking about just a little while earlier. And he's cleared the road by a long way, Ben Holyoke. Well, that's where he makes it look ridiculously easy. And it was such a simple looking shot. He's just read the line and the length. It's a full swing of the bat, it's a very big hit. It's a good shot. And Chase, should just pull up. And uh, the umpire in the thick of it again. He almost got pinned then. He's been a uh, rugby tackle once. Yeah. It's driven down the ground. 
Maybe just as well he didn't take the single. Well, much needed boundary. Very impressive shot too, just straight down the ground, using the pace of the ball, ball a full length of Srinath. Yeah, he's been out of sorts, he's taken that one wicket to Nick Knight, none of this, it's just over-pitched. But he plays it well, Jeremy Snape, straight down the ground, beats mid on. Gee, that's edged, but the man's pretty fine at third man. As well, just a single, good fielding. That's the thing that's impressed me, I think, whether it's rubbed off because of the way into a play but the fielder seems to have responded uh, to everything the captain's done he's attacked when he's uh, felt the time was right and it's been rewarded I don't think they're ever going to be a really mobile fielding side but they've worked hard 12 hours to go then this England there's a bowling change the local man bang Badani comes into the attack Nothing wrong with the first delivery. It's a single, but uh, there or thereabouts. I get to continue. It's good running. Can't get out in the middle of the bat, so uh, it's never going to run out to. It's nicely played. Now they might look for two here. And they will, and they'll make it. It's good placement and good running. Now there's going to be more here. This is a bonus. He's hit the stumps and should pick up two more. Dad! And he will do. I just feel sorry for the fielder. He's done well. He's got there, got the throw in, bounced it in. It clips the top of the stumps, penalised two more runs. Relief for England. Well, they all count. He's ricochets, his batsman in comfortably. It brings more runs. Change in the bowling. Garka comes into the attack, extra pace, and the boundary. It's not uh, it's intended by Jeremy Slate, but effective. Well, that's what can happen when the quicker ball has come back into the attack, slightly stiff, and he does look stiff there, Garka gives the width, just flared the bat at it, Jeremy Snape. The ball races away, that's a welcome boundary for England. But seven overs left, and they are bringing this situation round. Holly Oak and Snape. Bowling. Went for a heave across the line. Wasn't necessary at this stage. Paid the ultimate price. Little stump out the ground. You said it, heave across the line. I'm not sure that he needed to do that. They were playing so well. Agarka comes back into the attack. Old adage, you miss, I hit. Straight delivery with no real pace just back of a length Snape looking to get the ball anywhere over the leg side it's middle stump, it's bullseye a little bit of a kiss from him and it's 195 for 7 James Foster the mark straight away and Hollyhock's got to keep playing now He seized on the opportunities to keep fielders in, to put pressure on batsmen, he had close fielders in. And I think it's been a, it's a good looking performance. Well, they've had a good day. Certainly enjoy themselves here. That's skewed in the air. That's going to be a nice, easy chance. Anil Kumble himself takes the catch. So, yet again, the wicket tumbling to a poor shot England could have done with Holyoke to stay the course yes he's quicker than he looks and he skids on to the bat again the length not quite there to attempt that shot it wasn't short enough didn't bounce as much as uh, Holyoke would have expected simple catch for Kumble he goes for 37 202 for 8 Darren Goff non-striker A straight bat from Jamie Foster. As David, you mentioned about the surface. Slight misfield will give them the second. And 
Danny Okumbele imploring the umpire, Vijay Chopra, to at least uh, refer it to the third umpire. The misfuel gave Jamie Foster the chance or the incentive to come back. Mightily close. Uh, I think he might be out. Just in. But there's no reason why the third umpire shouldn't have been called for when it's that close. Well, another couple here at least. A long way down there. Put down his arm, good enough. It's all over for Darren Goff. Just the one and a half stumps out the ground. Well, one clean out, one displaced, one still standing. Whichever way you look at it, that's out. He has the ability to take wickets again. Reverse swing, that's the sixth time he's taken four wickets in an innings in a one-day international. Good performance. 216 for nine. One man left for England is Matthew Hoggard. Nearly there. The idea, bowl it straight, see if the batsman misses, especially if he's a number 11. This is going to be a desperate end to the England innings. Well, the extra ball brings the extra wicket. No point of hanging around for those extra two overs, was there? So England all out. This is desperate running, poor running. Yes, and a good performance by India in the field. He's got a good arm, Dinesh Mungia. Good take by Ajay Ratra. And uh, that was it for England. 217 all out. And uh, Anil Kumble will be mighty pleased with his uh, team's effort. First time captain of India. He's been most impressive. And they should be very, very confident now of victory in this third of the series. This is why England bowled out with two overs to spare for 217. Discothic looked in great form again at the top of the order. That was an important wicket for Agaka. Michael Vaughan again played well. 43 from 59 deliveries. And then, although wickets had tumbled, there was a recovery from Ben Hollyoak, Jeremy Snape, 37 and 38 respectively it was a good partnership and has given England just a sniff of hope because they have the runs on the board India still have to get them however easy that target might appear these bowling figures make good reading for India Srinath really the only one off song 6.25 in the economy rate 1 for 50 from 8 overs Aga cut 4 for 34 he bowled well 3.78 his economy Sanjay Bangar coming into the side to replace Kanguli, one for 40. The spinners bowl well, Havajan and Kumble. And really it was a good pressurised performance from the Indian bowlers, supported today by better fielding than we've seen in the previous two games. India need 218 runs to win. Now there's a reminder of the target for India, 218 runs to win from a full 50 overs at 4.36 runs per over. No margin for error. Drifted into the legs slightly. And it has to be slightly whipped away in the crowd. And this is what they've come to see. Well, the pitch was on the slow side with the old ball, but with the new ball, it's coming on nicely onto the bat. Let's have a look at that. Just a roll of the wrist. And ample power behind the shot, just sped to the boundary rope. It was a fielder at fine leg. There was no way he could come around that one. A good start for them to look at. Well stopped. Just slight man at a good point. Such a fantastic determined to announce his arrival. It's six without loss from one over. Smashed away. Now to his highest score in this ground and there might be a lot more to come. Just short of a length, that's all it has to be. And he's there and waiting. Just get the feeling that somebody was cheeky enough to let him know about his record at Chennai. He's into business very quickly. It's a great shot. This uh, sort of pulled his weight back, didn't really get onto the back foot. 
as much as he would have liked. Aaron Goff. Over pitched and driven. That's going to be four more. Aaron's going to cut that one off from the crowd. Well, they're loving it. The heroes come to town. He's not letting them down. Now you can't say that he found the gap on that occasion because it was heading straight to Nasir Hussain. But they hit it over Nasir Hussain. Got the advantage of the bounce of the hard surface. It was right there in the slot. With good skill to get the middle of the bat in spite of that. With that first ball. But after that, he's been a bit too full and the Indians love it there. They absolutely love it. Yeah, problems for Nasser Hussain. And Goff. He's not bowled three overs yet, he's got one more ball to go and he's already conceded 27 runs. 13 off this over. Too full, too wide. Had to be put away and it was, and put away well. Really the new kid on the block, Virendra Sehwag. A lot of talent. With some great shots. Here's another one. Again, right up there, inviting Sehwag to drive. Who's very keen to accept the invitation. 40 for no wicket. And uh, that's four more. Too much running out there, but a lot of magnificent stroke play. A couple of bad deliveries by Darren Gobb, but you can't fault this one. It's about good length, just short of good length. And again, some great uh, eyesight on display here. It's been a while since we've last seen the Dulga play in this fashion. Sweetly timed. When he hits it, it stays hit. And it wasn't all that bad a delivery. Well, we've seen some great shots from the Indian batsman. None better than this. Effort from Hoggard. Not a lot wrong with that delivery, but look at the excellence of the shot. It's punched and placed through the offside. Excellent square drive. That's it on the up. Again, fantastic placement. He doesn't miss. He just doesn't miss. He's moved on to 45 from 42. The crowd absolutely adoring him and the way that he plays Tendulkar. Nothing wrong with that delivery. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Shrug of the shoulders from Hoggard. How do I ball at this guy? Slower ball, pick up, one-handed. Heaved away through the onside. Three boundaries in the over. Twelve coming off the last one. 76 for no loss. Barton still one ball remaining, so every chance for Tendulkar to reach his 50 here. Matthew Hoggard thinking that, uh, yeah, end of the over, thank you very much. One handed, doesn't need two hands. Slow delivery, picks it up, just plays it away through the leg side. <laughs> he enjoyed it, kept watching. He's on 49. And 50. 15 just 44 balls. Thir 13 runs coming off the last over. 77 for no loss. That's edged. And a full stroke will start to change the figures for Andrew Flintoff. No wonder he's livid. He's actually done more than anyone here to try and put some pressure on that onslaught at the start took virtually all of the pressure off but he's kept it tight and only this thick edge has seen the ball go to the boundary of him 
that's got him a little worked up I wonder what he's saying there it's not the same in translation that's a quick single but I would if I were Nasser Hussain I would keep a slip in there David because it's a little difficult to restrict scoring now it's 83 for no loss Ben Holyoke is being introduced into the attack Hoggard out of it after that expensive over his seventh good piece of work well wholehearted stuff again Andrew Flintoff giving away absolutely nothing this evening he's doing a great job there Flintoff is he's got to get A for effort with his bowling fielding he's trying everything there trying to make room for himself and go over the top he lost a hundred there he must have learned a bit of batting with Sehwag it's lofted but very safe The boundary brings 50 for Virenda Sewag. 51 not out he is. Two very fine innings we've witnessed here tonight already in this Indian innings. Fourth time he's reached 50 in one day internationals. Wonderful batting exhibition by both these players. This is an opportunity for him to go on and get another 100. Great strike rate too. Taken. Well, very easily taken, it seems. Just got it, the man out there. And the end of this partnership. 107 is put on. Marcus Truscothic made the catch look very easy for Verenda Sewag, though. A slightly disappointing end. He's going for another big hit. Made good contact with it, but just found the man. Strange in the circumstances because it's almost as though he didn't see the fielder there. He'd be very cross with himself when he sees the replays. 51 for him, it's 107 for one. VVS Laxman comes in at number three for the first time in this series. Not a bad situation, of course. One down for 107. Nice, thank you. Good, thank you. And that man stays in for Tendulkar too at mid on. Well, Tendulkar seems quite happy just to pick up the odd one. There is no uh, pressure for time, of course. Yes, he's played himself into a lovely position. From here, he can eye a hundred. There you are, exactly hundred runs to win for India. Nine wickets remaining. That's a glorious shot. Just out of the blue, that one came. That will please him immensely come at the right time for him and of a slow bowler that is an incredible shot it sure is out of the blue power in the shot punch there through extra cover all his weight going forward into the shot misses the field misses the field again Showing the full flair here, Sachin Tendulkar, thumping drive, and then some deft wrist work. Some dampness around now, the dew has come down. Lakshman taking his time, batting on 7 of 20 balls. That's understandable, Lakshman, a bit of pressure coming into this innings. And that's a good shout, and the finger comes up ever so slowly, but gives the decision. Tendulkar just looking back at the umpire he's having a look at the bat as well but that looked pretty plump to me plum as they come Sachin Tendulkar LBW at Chennai LBW to an off spinner Sanjay Mandrake has said it's off spin that may just trouble him Jeremy Snape here he hits across the line he hits him right on the shin in front of middle and off the umpire raises the finger it's that dreaded digit. Sachin is on his way back to the pavilion for 68. It's 130 for two. 
Dinesh Mongia, the number four batsman for India. He's in good form. 71 in the first match at Kolkata and then 49 at Katak. India 131 for two. Jeremy Snape also seemed to be struggling, but no struggle here for Dinesh Mongia, who has played an exquisite square cut. Yeah, the ball's there to be hit, short and wide from England's off spinner. Himself at that delivery, he gives him the width that he requires. He's got the ball through the offside. Doesn't want to be cut. Oscars don't want to be cut. With the rare bad balls by Snape. And this is a shot he loves to play against the off spinner. Again, the spin chips it over the fielder. Played a few of those in Calcutta. One of his favourite shots. It's good footwork. Gets himself down the pitch quickly, gets to the pitch of the ball. Just lifts the ball over mid on. Just on the half volley. Oh! Yeah, 143 for two. Timing's better on that occasion. But there is cover in the deep. That's when he was trying to hit a little too hard. That's when he was struggling with his timing, Lakshman, but not on that last occasion. That's, that's timed. There's no problems with that. Crowd. Love it. Not much to shout about. Just uh, in the last few hours, been pretty quiet, but there's nothing shot wrong with this shot. Actually worked it through uh, straightish mid on. Yes, this is well played. Full face of the blade. A little bit of work with the bottom hand. But again, not trying to really hit it too hard. Good timing. That should make him feel a lot better. Eight runs coming off that last over. It's 160 for two. Beautiful shot. Uh, this is one of the best shots he's played in this innings. Not all that bad a delivery, but beautifully struck on the up. This is good timing. Much better footwork as well. Friendly and bending. Hello, through extra cover. Not a half volley. Turn me up. That's for him. England have got the wicket they were looking for. Matthew Hogard has gone through the defence of previous Lakshman. A slow ball. It's cleverly bowled. Previous Lakshman. Well. When he sees the replay of that, he won't enjoy watching that. He's gone for 26. It's 165 for three. The man that comes out to the middle. That's a big hit. Got hold of that very quickly. It's gone a long way over deep mid wicket. Well, that's the antidote as far as India are concerned. Laxman out, but Bongia straight back on the attack. The ball disappearing into the midnight sky. Big shot right out of the middle of the bat. Like a star. Shooting star. Six. Into the gloves. That's out. Hoggard has struck back. 
What extraordinary cricket we're watching. Laxman deceived. Mongo goes back on the attack. Straight away, the ball after. Hoggard finds the outside edge. And Jamie Foster completed a simple catch. Still in this, England. There's a six. Big shot, way, way back. Brings the crowd alive. Then this. Nick, here the Nick. Foster takes the catch. Oh God, strikes again. mongi has gone for 21. 172 for four. So the start of a new over. Well, that's guided away. Karen Goff doing the juggling. That's lobbed to first slip. The pressure is telling on this Indian middle order. Hoggard has really deserved this. Running in with just as much enthusiasm as he was at the start of the day. Nice simple chance to slip. Well, England bowlers are responding. Wickets have started to fall. The young inexperienced Indian batsmen are just suffering here. Hoggard absolutely on the button. Sanjay Bangar has gone for one. One seven four for five now. Matthew Hoggard has taken three wickets for seven runs in the space of six balls. Uh, it means now that Ajay Ratra is the latest man at the crease. Five down now, India. Well, that's not a bad delivery. Yeah. Well, a lot of runs. I say a lot of runs. <laughs> Few runs going down to third man now, and that's a costly error. It seemed that the only runs on offer were those shots guided through the slips and down towards third man. Now this is the edge at the end of the last over. It's carried. It's carried. Catch to the keeper. He smothers the ball. It definitely carries. And then this steer down to third man by Badani. Oh dear. Fine shots. That's the sort of shot that takes away some of the pressure. Every time it gets tense, a boundary is pretty much the best cure. But this ball has got old and dirty very quickly. Darren Goff driven through the offside. By the young wicket keeper Ratra, ball at full length, it's a good shot too. Gets the ball to the right of mid off, keeps the ball straight, full face of the bat, through the line of the ball. 25 runs, it's still to win. 48 balls remaining, five wickets remaining, that's the equation. Again, goes over the top, but this time it's better hit. Straight down the pitch for a boundary. 43 overs gone, 201 for 5. Darren Goff will continue. As he edged it, gone up in appeal, and Devendra Sharma reckons that Badani nicked it. This match continues to baffle all of us. Six wicket gone for India. Heyman Badani caught behind. It's a slower ball again just to run it but uh, he ran it but straight James Foster then he's gone for 12 it's 201 for six Ajit Agarkar the number eight batsman for India got 29 of 26 balls in the last match at Katak Darren Goff good fielding Jamie Foster the keeper saving a leg by there and at last some reward for Darren Goff just the 12 runs to win now five men inside the circle as he found the gap Matthew Hogarth the fielder a couple of runs to Ajit Agarkan and this time he finds the gap with no one in the deep the practice pitches uh, just help him just touches the rope. I did it. It's a great effort. Uh, 
Sure, Crawford, but uh, it's a great effort. Flicks it back, but you'll see it just roll back onto the rope. I think it just touches. You can see there, just touching the rope. And also a good indication about the colour of the ball there. The commitment has been brilliant. The applause is for Devendra Sharma. Just confirm that it was a boundary. So Ratra gets another boundary. And he'll keep strike. As you would expect everybody inside the circle. And he hits it clear of the fielders and that's a boundary. Which means India win the third one day international straight through at last, not without hiccups. They won the first one in Kolkata, lost the second in Katak. But this one here in Chennai has been won and it's been a good debut for Anil Kumble as India captain. That's the story of the uh, innings, that flying start from Tim Dolker. Soag and Laxman, very circumspect for his 26 under a lot of pressure. Mongia going for 21 and it all sort of went England's way a little bit the Danny was dropped but, uh, he went on to make 12 and then Banger got a ball that bounced from Hoggard and Hoggard was the man he picked up three wickets there quickly and at the end Ratra not out 29 from 32 balls Gaka 6 from 8 India win by four wickets